Hello, my name is Anne, and today I'm going to take a look back at another device that I also use uh, back in the day, and this is the Apple iPad 2. So this is a uh, flagship tablet in 2011. It was like uh, six years apart now, so uh, six years, and this iPad is still here with uh, us here. And uh, let's take a look at uh, what really make this iPad cool and so successful uh, that um, it is that it was so commonly used right now. So uh, let's just take a look at the iPad itself. And first of all, let's take a design of this device. And uh, the first thought is that. This has a aluminum design, so uh, this is one of the only device back in the day I used that, that had this kind of aluminum shell. It's very sturdy, it's very durable, very rigid, and it feels in it uh, like you know I wave my hand over the iPad and it feels you know very great. It's very premium. This feeling on this device is you know it's aluminum so you know it is the best and class and also if you look at the top there is a plastic uh, window here this is for the uh, 3g connectivity uh, as you can see uh, which is kind of a black plastic here to kind of um, make the antenna work better and uh, let's see this front here hasn't really changed since uh, uh, Today I use this device, and um, taking a look at the side, uh, we have a lot of thing, a lot of uh, thing happens, and one of the one of the first thing is that this device was a bit bent. As you can see, it uh, wasn't as straight anymore. Uh, you know, you can actually like, look that close, but uh, yeah, it's actually a little bit bent, uh, so it's a bit curved. And also, there are tons of scratches on the screen, which we know because of you know the uh, the glasses and so like corning grill glass anymore. You can see uh, some scratches. As you can see, uh, you can actually see couple of them. Uh, it's actually pretty bad, uh, but at least it still works and still here with us here. Um, Okay, so the next thing is the home button is semi-working here. The home button is just, you know, it's a little bit crappy right now. It is, you know, it's just a little bit uh, of a work in order to get this working. So I had to press really hard to get this working. So that is the uh, next issue with the iPad 2. Uh, other than that, if you uh, same here, of course, you can see couples of dent. As you can see, it comes with dents, uh, as I see in the, on this one, you can see some dents on the side, uh, on the corners of the iPad, because again, I drop it on, top of on, um, on the floor. It's not on the concrete or something. I never thought about on the concrete. I never took this device outside. Very rare, actually, uh, but I never actually drop it on concrete, just on the floor. But it's already making that big scuff here already. So. Um, it's a bit of a thing. So this iPad actually still looks pretty beautiful here. It still has the volume button on the side and switch, which is uh, uh, gone on the iPad Air 2. Uh, at the bottom, we still have speaker. You have the speaker, all design speaker here. It looks pretty good. But the sound is something that I will talk about later. And uh, the ports, the uh, the old thirty pin dock, the thirty pin connector, uh, and also look at the at the, the at above the connector is also a bit bent. Uh, you can actually see it, but uh, yeah, the the top, the above layer of the connector is a bit bent, but it's still chargeable. Again, nothing to worry about. And uh, it's got a bit low battery, so I'm just going to charge this thing up a bit. Okay, so just going to keep it uh, real here. So let's take a look back at iOS 9. So iOS 9 uh, is something that is very good. It's a very uh, same as iOS 8, iOS 7, they really change anything. Uh, some really big changes, for example, the, uh, the font has changed to San Francisco font, uh, as well as the new 
uh, task the new app switching it's a bit here okay there it is so you see this is a new app switching on iOS 9 it's also on iOS 10 iOS 11 as we know and notification center for example it, uh, it's the last we see from us uh, until we move to iOS 10 where we have a card view here uh, as you know this device is no longer updatable to iOS uh, 10 because of the limitation of the hardware and uh, so on and uh, again let me take a look at the iOS versions of this device so as you can see it's running on 9.3.5 13G36 uh, which is the latest version this guy can run okay so this is the last version of iOS this can run so um, and that's some good news for you that this uh, iOS 9.2.5 has just officially recently jailbroken. So I will make this video about jailbroken this iPad as soon as possible. Uh, but let's uh, again, let's take a look at iOS 9. It has a lot of interesting things. Uh, for example, a new news application right here. I actually really like it because it, it kind of brings a very intuitive uh, UI. It is Apple, you know, so it is basically the best of the bunch. And I actually use it every time on my iPad mini 2 or even my current iPad uh, okay, so it's a bit um, up there okay so there it is so uh, as you can see here it's actually an older news UI so it's, but it's again it's very very intuitive and uh, okay, as you can see you can still go into news and still works just fine as my iPad uh, mini I'm using right now it's, it's actually pretty fluent um, and talking about performance, um, it's something I need to, to, to talk about here because it is different from any other iOS version or any other iPad, iPhones that you have seen. It has an A5 processor and one, 5 2 megabytes of RAM. So performance is okay. I mean, it lags through the OS pretty constantly. And you can see it, uh, I mean, the scrolling is actually still good. You see, like, I still can still sc scroll very just decently. Uh, the speed is very nice. But let's say in like animation, because I was doing so many animation, it it kind of uh, dropped this device down a bit, I mean, a lot of them, because you know this is I was nine. And let's go back to some of the let's say, like say the, the app store. It still doesn't really. Um, you know, it doesn't really load that fast again like iOS 5, iOS 4.3, but you know, it's still uh, quite f just normally fast. Uh, it doesn't really, uh, really stand out in anyone. Uh, but you know, the iPad 2 is still a great device, it's still a great uh, multimedia device. We actually, um, you know, it still wants to. You know, plays video or you watch use watch YouTube. It's still fine. And in fact, let me just uh, show you the speaker and what I'm meaning with speaker here because I want to talk about some of the speaker. So uh, this video is taking a bit long. So, but uh, just just a little bit patient. Uh, so as you can see, let me just uh, look at couples of uh, video here. And surprisingly, iOS 9 still supports some of the latest application as well. So, uh, just uh, okay. Okay, so a little bit. Uh, you hear it? Mm, no, I do. Uh, yeah, the speaker is broken, as you can see. It's uh, it's basically broken. Doesn't know anymore, and even the, the lock sound doesn't even have anymore. So, uh, that's something you should know about the i that my iPad is the speaker is broken, so it doesn't sound anymore. Uh, but um, other elements are just fine, like the speak, like the you know the camera. Let's look at the camera here real quick, because. Um, so the camera is a 5 megapixel camera. Uh, it's a bit dark, but um, just take a 
you know, this bear with me, it's actually a little bit difficult. So it gives you a temperature just as fine, and nothing to worry about. And uh, let's just go ahead and flip to the front facing camera here. So, um, pretty decent. Uh, it's only like VGA, so it's not the best. Uh, but it can still works. It's still uh, functioning well. There's no problem here, so it's pretty nice. And finally, the battery life is actually decent. So this iPad here has a six thousand four hundred million hour battery. It's around the size, and it's actually the same as my iPad Mini Two, uh, which is um, also six thousand four hundred seventy million hour battery. So the same size. Um, so the battery life is actually pretty surprising. Actually, not uh, positively, but negatively. Uh, my iPad Mini, my iPad Mini Two can actually last full day. You know, a full two days. But this guy. Uh, as I charge it, it's around 6 hours 25 minutes. So, which is a bit lower than the iPad Mini 2. I usually get around um, 8 to 9 hours on screen time. This guy has only got uh, 6 hours only, which is a bit disappointing here, uh, considering the fact that this guy has the same, same uh, battery capacity as my Mini 2. So, basically, this is the uh, look back at my iPad Mini iPad 2. Which is a very successful device from Apple. I mean, it design is very influential. Uh, it's definitely the base for every single iPad, every tablet, uh, run Android in the future. And this device has actually made Apple really successful. So you need to appreciate how much Apple has put uh, this device into the design, the display. Uh, the display is actually pretty good. So. Uh, display the uh, performance it still runs on pretty up to date iOS 9. Uh, the battery life, is, everything feels good. So, this is the uh, look back at my iPad Me iPad 2. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.